Ni yake ile ira kwa nyowe aziyai Sitam sitam pia uko ni sitam ile ira kwa nyowe aziyai Nopa nopa pia uko ni nopa ile ira kwa nyowe aziyai Galo galo pia uko ni galo ile Pay some price to ride the Canada Tick Channel. It is not easy. The man will have to do in power. Jenny, let's make welcome and give that go. At a time, Sonny Owen, PhD. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank everybody who is here and thank Karino who identified me in the year today. I thank uh, Matthew. I thank each and everybody youth that are here today. In fact, when I'm asked to talk to youth, I'm always very careful about it. If I can inspire, it goes down to some area that will be disastrous for the youth. So I have to be brief and highly guided so that at least we can receive the input that can be presented in his best letter. In fact, I'm very careful. If, you, if the last speaker is out of know, just let me know because I want everybody to listen clearly and get the whole message. Please. Now, let's go on. Uh, I was asked to review the first example of Ken Sabriwa. Here it is. The letter, the review is in this book. This book uh, presented to you. Uh, the prof has answered one or two questions I did not present in the book. Defining the letter, a few communication to people who are in intimacy with you. And then, Prof has also suggested that um, this letter should be made available for readable form by news, private and electronic form. That is developing in such a way that the form can handle the old letters or new letters. So that at this same young people are no longer so interested in studying material like this and they are interested in the forms. They can always make their own and see them. I think that is not the special Yes. So please, uh, the, uh, uh, Matthew, we take note of that. I want to thank the uh, student union government that are right here, the SSS director, everybody. Please, thank you so much. And this same problem will be able to listen to it for a moment before we go to So now, let us look at the review. Uh, on page uh, 6. I was asked to review the first letter of Ken Sabriwa. Then later on, I called uh, Matthews that it did you mean that I should review only the first letter? He said, no, I should have the second letter. And so the review you see there, and I mean, handles both letters. Now, in the course of reading the book carefully, I had to think of what is what was in the mind of him writing this two letters. What was what what was what did he What did he want to communicate? What was his mindset? What was his emotion? Was he angry? Was he happy? What message did he want to communicate to the opponent? And I got it. The message is there on page six. In the middle person, the one who the top writer. How can the good people and of course any small ethnic nationalities in Nigeria, no great problem, obtain their full political economic rights and bear their responsibility for first or second government in Nigeria? That was the basis of the whole letters. Two letters. How would the Oguni person how will the people rule themselves, rule themselves, 
use their economic uh, uh, resources, use their uh, intellectual resources, use everything that the good people have to rule themselves, administer themselves, develop themselves economically, politically, religiously, and so on and so forth. How will that happen? And that question was also in the mind of uh, Honorable Timothy Nahu for the In fact, Ken invited that nature from him. Because that was the first person that started that type of story. How will Nahu become governor of River State? How will Nahu become president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? So that the Ogodima can develop, Ogoni develop their, uh, themselves and make sure that Ogoni is well positioned. How will that happen? That is the beginning of the whole letter, the beginning of the struggle, and the beginning of the establishment of muscle, the beginning of all the movements that you ever saw. That is the central point. And that is what I want to discuss now. Now, if we talk about uh, the uh, uh, the mood, the, the, the behavior of Ken and that, he was angry. He was angry. In order to develop these students, he was not happy. Not happy with Nigeria, not happy with the people, some of you. Not all, not the entire community. Not happy with those people in Ugoni who were not ready to go with him, to actualize his dream on the world. The whole thing is where it's been in the two letters, which we want to get. Now, let us look at Ogun. What is the meaning of Ogun? What is it? This is Ogun. What is the meaning of Ogun? That is part of the age. Uh, the meaning of Ogun. Of this book. The age. The meaning of Ogun. Of the name of Ogun. Which is as old as the people. As old as the people is conspicuous when the holy people made at their social political dimensions. It is fossilized into each of the three struggles of Gobi, which bit of the name. When a speaker shouts out, Very good. When are you Answer that. When are you going Benogoni, Mwenka, Benogoni, Mwenso, Benogoni, Ka Alemebari.